Coker Cemetery was established in 1857 from part of a land grant given to John Jack Coker by the state of Texas. The grant recognized his brave service in the Texas fight for independence from Mexico at the Battle of San Jacinto. Today's descendants of the Coker family and their relatives by marriage have their final resting places under the leafy branches of large oak trees. A walk among the tombstones reveals familiar San Antonio names, Coker, Jones, Maltzberger, DeKunder, and Tomasini, to name a few. A Texas historical marker stands by the headstone of John Coker. His burial site is next to that of his brother Joseph, who donated the land for the cemetery. Another Texas historical marker is by the grave of Jefferson Davis Smith. Jeff, along with his brother Clinton, was kidnapped by Indians from the Coker community. The boys were eventually accepted into the tribe and lived as Indians for many years before finally making it back to their family. There are also three Texas Ranger markers in the cemetery. The largest tombstone belongs to the six-year-old grandson of Joseph Coker. After Lucius Monroe Coker died from a rattlesnake bite, his grandfather wanted the boy's grave on his property. They selected a rising knoll near the Salado Creek, and that burial was the first in the Coper Cemetery. The large limestone headstone rises above all others, even today. The nonprofit Coker Cemetery Association has operated the cemetery since 1967, when the state granted them a charter. A board of trustees governs the cemetery under the terms of the charter. No space in the cemetery has ever been sold, nor will it be. Contributions from the descendants and friends of those buried in the cemetery provide funds for maintenance of the grounds.